Raising kids is tough enough without having to worry about all the potential dangers in your house. Leslie found easy ways for parents to childproof their homes without sacrificing style. I'm here with designer Andy Savalski, who's going to show us modern ways to make our home safe for kids, but stylish too. Right. How you doing? Yeah, I love How this, that this is two rooms in one, and it's for boy and a girl. For boy and a girl, two rooms in one was the key. The mother asked me if we could, you know, make private space, but we only had one room in which to work. So I said, the way we're going to do it is we're going to use a divider. And the great color, you know, really gives energy to the room, but they're really separate spaces in one. And she's a four-year-old daughter, so yeah. pink's her thing. And hot pink. Loves a hot little one-year-old son, so yes. he's supposed to grow into his room. Right, but the dark we picked because we wanted it to be, you know, nap time was really important. You had to feel like this is a little cozy space for the little boy. And you said something about the paint. What kind of paint? Okay, do you well, want to buy? little kids like to put their hands on walls. Of course. And what does that do? It leaves you know, fingerprints and things we don't really want to stay on the paint. So I like to use a paint that has a little sheen, never, never flat paint. Flat paint, you can't wipe off, you can't get the, you know, the marks off. But if you use like a mat, which has a little sheen or even an eggshell, it's wipeable, it's great. And you were talking about this metal sheet here, and this is really good for storage and all their artwork. Yeah, I mean, this is awesome because you can put push pins if you wanted to in there, but also because they're metal, look, these great, um, you know, clips, all magnetized. It's totally changeable art. The kids get to partake. They get to like put things up, change it And they it can out. go in the room and set it in the kitchen on yes. your fridge, which holds Perfect. too much stuff Perfect. anyway. And this is the artwork. That's the kids' artwork, and there it lives. And they're going to bring things in that you don't really want to like, you know, stay on the carpet or look like it stays. So we go with a really dark, vibrant color. So that you know, gives energy to the room. Much easier to live with. Much easier to live with. And now kids have umpteen amounts of toys, toys. and things. So what should parents do? With Little those? toys, big toys. You need <laughs> storage, right? Storage, storage, probably. Storage, storage. Because if not, you're always living with all these little pieces all over the place, and it's kind of makes the parents crazy. crazy. What do you use for storage here? Well, I mean, obviously we've got dresses, but lots of colorful bins, plastic bins, even fun suitcases, which might not go for traveling, but they are awesome, you know, for quick storage of pretty much anything. Legos, Barbie dolls, little train sets, whatever the kids have go in here. And then when they're all zipped up, they look, you know, and they're not tripping over the toys. They're not tripping over the them, and they can roll out of the way. Of course, we got to get out of the kids' room now and head to the adult rooms, and Let's you have some tips for rooms. us. Yeah, adults live here too. Wow, this is a modern living room. How is it safe for kids? Well, it's got both. You know, the modern part is fun because it just, you know, it works for the parents. They like the way it looks, but just. You know, in a lot of little areas, there's lots of elements that are about kids and what you need for kids. You don't want furniture that's going to stain easily, so we use vinyl that's totally wipeable, but it's really soft. It's not sticky like you think vinyl should be. You're right, it won't absorb liquid. Right, so you can, you know, kids will spill a little juicy cup, no problem, wipe it up. And it's still soft, so you're not sacrificing comfort. Storage. You've got to have storage when you've got kids around because lots of toys, lots of little things, and if it's always cluttered, Parents never feel like it's their home. It's just one big toy box, right? So we did storage. You want to see something really yeah. cool? Okay. Here's the coffee table. Ottoman. This is the toy box. Oh, and just one of many. I mean, if I show you around, we have time. We've got little pockets of storage all over the house. You can't have enough storage with kids. Because so you really want to focus on furniture that acts as double duty. Double duty. Love that. Everything should have a little double function. You know, it's got to be for the parents but it's gotta be for the kids too. And I noticed this isn't really, everything's round. Everything's round, it's very, you know, easy. What do kids usually hit their head or their, you know, their fingers on? Anything sharp, right? Right. And so you put those little bumpers, the things soften the edges, those are fine. But if you sort of pre-think it and put everything with a round edge, which we did here, this table, this sofa. Even in the little the eating area is round. Everything, everything that could be round or rounded is round. I think it's the parents' house first. That's my philosophy. And so they got to think about what will appeal to them. And then they got to think about before they execute that, how can I make those things I need, the table, the chair, the, the colors, work with kids. So you can start by what you want and then you know, tailor it to kids. So that's where these elements come in. You know, the soft vinyl fabrics, the round elements something for the kids but not sacrificing what looks good for the parents. Perfect. Thank you so much. Great modern tips, Andy. Oh, thank you for having me. Wow, I love the idea of creating two unique areas in one room. What a great idea for the kids. Thank you, Leslie. Just